Welcome to Arroyo Grande, California, home of Humdinger Brewing. What started as a passion project is now a super cool small batch facility with custom tanks where Lee and Justin are able to get creative. Humdinger has its own restaurant with an indie vibe and yeah, the food is as good as its beer. Chicharrones are a signature snack at Humdinger. They're made from scratch, Haas and Chef Nick's spice blend that pairs really well with their beer, Two in the Peach. I'm uh, Chef Nick Deshaun at Humdinger Brewing and we're going to be making our chicharrones today. Topped with creamy cilantro lime aioli, fresh pico de gallo, and chopped cilantro, this is a beer snack that is addicting. A dream that came into fruition, Humdinger offers an ever-changing variety of original beers. Be prepared to enjoy a quadruple threat. Great beer, awesome food, a chill vibe with owners and a chef that make me laugh until my face hurts. What made me get into the brewing business? Uh, it all started off when I was a home brewer. Um, I had been brewing for probably about eight years just out of my garage. Uh, Justin and I had met each other through a homebrew group. And I mean, every single home brewer's op, uh, you know, dream come true would be to have their own professional brewery. Uh, so all of them always talk about it and think about it and say, oh, what would, what would I do if it was my brewery? You know? How would I run it? What, would I, what kind of beers would I make? What would it be called? What would it look like? And uh, Justin said, hey, let's do it. Let's open a brewery. And, and it's one of those things where I couldn't really go through the rest of my life wondering if what had happened if I didn't take that chance and actually jump into it. So Justin and I both kind of felt the same way in that. And uh, we decided to make the leap from, from amateur homebrew guys working in our garages to opening this five barrel brew house you see behind me. What sets us apart from other breweries is probably our size. You know, we're really, really small. All of our batches are only five barrels. So while we make a lot of beer, they're always different. And you know, we do make the same beer over and over and over sometimes. You know, our popular ones like Fog Crusher and Ships Ahoy Crispy Boy. And we figured out how to keep that the same product consistent you know on our brew house but because it is so small we get to explore and make other beers as well you know sometimes we go off the rails and make something totally new like uh, our anniversary IPA which is currently clocking in at 13 percent so a lot of places don't get to have that kind of fun discovering new styles and different flavors because it's always about hey I got 20 barrels we can't screw it up you know, we got 20 barrels, we have to make what people are going to drink, you know. But such a small volume, we have a lot more room to, to explore. Where do I see Humdinger in five years? All right, uh, that's a good one. You know, it's, our goal is to obviously grow the business, you know, like anything. Um, we do want to have more of these small scale brew pubs floating around where we do have really excellent food and really excellent unique beers coming out of it. But I think also we want to develop more of the brand into a distribution game. So while we will have a lot of small little brew pubs, we also want to have a larger facility that not only feeds those brew pubs, but also makes enough beer to get out into the public so that we can be in stores and be in other restaurants, you know, be in uh, the places that people buy beer at. They don't always have to come just to Humdinger to get it. They'll be able to get it next door or at their favorite places. Thanks for watching the food goat. 